Okay, so in this problem we're told a proposed space station consists of a circular tube that will rotate about its center like a tubular bicycle tire. The circle formed by the tube has a diameter of about 1.1 kilometers. What must the rotation speed, revolutions per day, if an effect equal to gravity at the surface of Earth, 1g, is to be felt? So in this problem we're given the diameter of this space station here and we know it's going to be rotating uh, like this, right? So around like this. And basically, we're trying to find is the rotation speed in revolutions per minute, which basically is omega, which is the angular velocity, but they want it in revolutions per day. And so we're trying to find what omega is if we're assuming the acceleration, uh, right? Acceleration of rotation, which is a sub r or the centripetal acceleration is equal to 1g. And so you should know what 1g is equal to. Uh, 1g is equal to 9.8 and then the units are meters per second squared. So 1g equals 9.8 meters per second squared. That's what we're assuming uh, the acceleration is. So with this acceleration, we're trying to find out the uh, omega. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? So uh, the first thing you need to know is the formula for the centripetal acceleration, which is v squared over r. And so we're gonna use this in order to solve for v, and then with v, what we can do is solve for omega because r, or sorry, v equals omega times r. Or yeah, v equals omega r. So if we want to solve for omega, all we have to do is divide our velocity by the radius. And then when we have omega, we just have to convert it into the correct units. So first thing we have to do is solve for v. So uh, we can multiply both sides by r and then just square root. So essentially you're going to get v equals the square root of r times a sub r. And so uh, now what we need to do is uh, just plug in. So the velocity equals the square root of the radius. Uh, and so the radius is going to be, uh, notice it's 1.1 kilometers. So 1.1 kilometers is equal to 1,100 meters. Uh, you should just know that 1,000 kilometers is or sorry, one kilometer is a thousand meters. So this is just an 1100 meters. And then we're, uh, we're dealing with radius, not uh, diameter. So you need to know the radius is essentially half of the diameter. So 1100 divided by two to get the radius uh, gives you uh, 550 and then it's meters. So uh, we have the radius now, which is 550 meters going ahead and plugging this in 550. Uh, and then we're multiplying by a sub r. So uh, which is going to be 9.8. So let me go ahead and plug this in. So we have the square root of 550 times uh, 9.8. So 73.41, 73.41, or I'll just say 42 since it's 4166. So 73.42 uh, units are meters per second since we're dealing with velocity here. Um, and then now that we have velocity, as I said, we're going to solve for omega. So velocity equals uh, omega times r. So we would divide by r. So omega is equal to our velocity, which we just solved for. Uh, I'm going to use my exact value when I calculate this. So I'll just write 73.42, though. Uh, and then we're dividing by the radius again, which was um, 550. So plugging that in now you are going to get omega equals 0.133. Uh, and then the units when you do this is going to be radians per second. So just know that uh, when you do this with meters per second and meters, you get radians per second. And that's essentially because you have meters per second uh, and then you're dividing by meters. So these will cancel. And then if you're unitless, it essentially means radians. And so now we have omega. But as I said before, uh, they want us to solve for it in terms of revolutions per day, not radians per second. So uh, we have 0.133 radians per second. Uh, and then converting uh, one radian, or sorry, two pi radians is the same as one revolution. Just kind of think of the unit circle, uh, two pi's all the way around. So we have the radians cancel. So now we have revolutions per second. Uh, but we need it uh, revolutions per day. So converting to days, uh, we know 60 seconds 
is equal to one minute uh, and then uh, 60 minutes is an hour and then 24 hours in a day so you'll see seconds cancel with seconds minutes with minutes hours with hours and then all you got to do is multiply through so let me plug this in 0.133 times uh, pi or sorry divided by 2 pi Uh, and then you would multiply by 60, yep, multiply by 60 again, and multiply by 24. And so what you're going to find is that it's equal to 1 point, or sorry, 1,828.88, sorry about that. Uh, and then just moving it over three, oh, it's going to be about 1.8 times 10 to the three, right? Because we went three over and then keep in mind the units now, revolutions per day. So this is essentially the angular velocity omega, right? Assuming you have a centripetal acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared or 1g. So 1.8 times 10 to the three revolutions per day. Uh, this right here is going to be your answer. And uh, yeah. Hopefully you found this video helpful.